Yo, what's up, YouTube? We are back, and today, three different ways to make stubs. The three best ways we've covered on the entire channel. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, comment down below how many stubs you got. You got my stub count, 145K. That's nothing. Then you go through my investments, and I've got stubs everywhere. I probably have three million worth of investments, and the first method we're gonna touch, I probably have over a million stubs tied up in. So smash the subscribe button, and today, I'm gonna show you how to make tons of stubs so you can build a dream team and avoid the in inevitable team affinity grind in season three. I'm not grinding for no 97 overalls, are you kidding me? I got stubs everywhere. I'll gem my way through that program and I'll just buy some of the pack cards because I'm sick and tired of the grind. Go check out some of the other content and we're gonna get right into things right now. Best ways to make stubs. First way, I'm talking buying these bosses in bulk. Grady Sizemore, he's one of them. 24 Grady Sizemores I have. Now look at his marketplace trends. I told you guys to buy him when he was 20K and it's the same reason I have right now. So basically, I did this with the set one boss cards and you can do it with the set two boss cards as well. 14 Chase Utley's. I think Josh Donaldson's one of the guys I have. Uh, you could probably do it with Mariano Rivera. But all of these set two cards, <clears throat> they will go up, back up in price. Um, and I think a good amount too because once these season one cards are no longer usable, then there's a pretty high chance that they're going to be back up to the same prices that the set one bosses were. So let's look at the set one bosses and kind of what their trends were. Devin Williams, don't look at him, but Bob Gibson, you can see right now, Bob Gibson, let's go to his trends. He was at 40K at some points. Now, I'm telling you, I'm not even joking. I did this with the set one bosses. The set one bosses followed the same trends that the set two bosses are following right now. They, they were consistently around 25, 26K, then they went back down. There was some flash sale. They went down to 17K, which is where we are right now with the bosses. They were at 17K, and in the coming weeks, they shot back up to 40K as other cars got, as other guys got phased out and people realized how good these cards really were. So guys like Bob Gibson, uh, Francisco Endor, and Munitaka Murakami, those are the real bosses that we're talking about here that you can follow the marketplace trends and see how this worked. Munitaka Murakami, you can see his he's right now Set one's about to get phased out, he's 19K. You can look at the prices a couple weeks ago. He was in the 30s, mid 30s, high 30s. So basically what you wanna do right here, I mean, it's really a simple approach. Grady Sizemore, Chase Utley, uh, Marlon Rivera, and Josh Donaldson, if we can find Donaldson. Uh, bring over rain, <laughs> okay. What's up with these nicknames, bro? Josh Donaldson, you can see. All these guys, <clears throat> I mean, the lowest that the set one bosses have ever been, was 17K. That's just a fact. It's the lowest any of the set one bosses ever were. So considering the set two bosses are already at that lowest price, there's a really good chance that they will start going back up, especially as guys get phased out and set one cards are no longer usable because the set two guys, people are gonna want a lot more of. I see these guys going back up to 30K um, relatively soon. So it is gonna be a bit of a hold, a bit of a long-term investment. But as you can see, putting my money where my mouth is, I'm all in on some of these boss cards going back up. So I think this is a good buy for sure, especially with the dip. Now the second way to make stubs is with roster update investments. Now I posted a video on how I approach what cards to invest in and why. So let's just go through that real quick. Um, you can go check out that video, but I'm gonna give you my three favorite investments right now and kind of how roster update investments work. Listen, subscribe because we've been making stubs with this all season long. One of my favorite investments is Zach Wheeler. Now, Zach Wheeler, I bought a bunch of him, 200 of him, at 1,500 stubs one day ago. He's 1,700 stubs now uh, because he's, he's pitching today against the New York Mets, and people are finally, whenever a starter starts and he's pitching well, the price usually shoots up. But his last three starts, in three starts and in 29 innings, uh, or sorry, in 20 innings, he's given up one run in his last three starts. Uh, his strikeout numbers have been really good. And he's kind of back to being the electric player we all know he can be. I see him having a good chance to go diamond. So what does that mean? Right now is an 84 overall. His quick sell value is 1,500 stubs. So if I wanted to go in there and quick sell all 200 of these guys, 200 times 1,500, bam, that's what I get. Now, if he gets a plus one, the next roster update is next week. If he gets a plus one to an 85 overall, his quick sell value doubles from 1,500 to 3,000. So I will then make double my stubs on each of the 200 cards I have in them. It's a really, really good investment opportunity right there. Next guy I like a lot of is Juan Soto. Uh, if we can find him, Juan Soto right here. I bought a bunch of these guys at Quick Sell a week ago. 
He was at 1,700, I think, yesterday. Um, but Juan Soto has been really good. His OPS is 937 because of a high OBP, 275 batting average, 478 last seven games, 314 batting average last 15 games. He's been really, really good, and I can see him going diamond soon. Maybe a plus one next update, which is kind of where he's priced at right now. But his price might go back down. And like I said, he could even go diamond. He, I think he deserves it, uh, but I don't know if SDS will give it. So what does that mean? As an 83 overall, his quick sell price is 1200. If he gets a plus one, it's a 1500, which isn't as much profit. But if he gets to a plus two, which he deserves to go diamond eventually, then you make, uh, you buy him for 1200. Now he's for, he's worth 3000 quick sell. Really good opportunity right there. And the last guy I want to mention, <clears throat> first of all, a guy like Corey Seager. Corey Seager, I told all of you to buy him at 600 stubs. We all did. You can see I have 400. I bought at 600. And we, what, almost quadruple. We're going to quadruple our, our stubs on Corey Seager. So that's just an opportunity on how it goes right there. And the last guy I wanted to talk about real quick is Camilo Duvall. Um, <clears throat> if I can find him, I think he's an 81 overall. So I probably passed him. But Duvall's been pitching pretty well. He had a bad relief opportunity yesterday. But on the season, he's a, he a 2.0 ERA. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning, solidly more than one strikeout. Um, <clears throat> so this is the guy that could go, he could get a plus one this update and then a plus two. He's worth 600 stubs quick sell right now. We could easily see him get to a 900 or a 1200 value quick sell with a plus one or plus two. So a guy like Duvall, another good opportunity to make some stubs right there. And that's the basis on roster updates. So make sure you subscribe so you can check out the videos because I post a bunch of them going through every single player you should invest in and uh, who has the best chances of making you some stubs. <clears throat> now the last way to make tons of stubs is with something called silver to gold exchange. You go to the exchanges, you go to exchange players, silver players for a gold player. Now you're gonna buy a bunch of these guys in bulk. You can see I did it with Michael Teller um, <clears throat> and I did it with Patrick Sandoval and I actually already did the exchanges before this video. But basically you can buy like this in bulk. You can put in however many you need to flip and then you get one gold pack. And so the main uh, way that this works is the, the fastest way and most cost friendly way to do it is with 77 overalls. So you would go in and buy, um, I think it's, yeah, you need six 77 overalls right now to do this exchange. So you would put in a, like you would put in a hundred buy orders for a guy that's 77 overall, they'd go through, let's just say, let's just say I had six of this guy, I put in six, six 77s and I got a pack. Now the price of those 77 overalls, uh, it's basically gonna make the value of the gold six times 104. You're gonna be paying about 625 stubs to get these packs, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, depending on who you buy, depending on the prices go up. Now this works with other overalls too, so you wanna find who is the cheapest to do it with. Like if you do it with a 75 overall, then you need to buy 10 of them. So maybe you buy 10 of these guys for 62 stubs, you're paying 620 then instead of 624. Not that much of a difference, but basically you're paying about 625 stubs per pack. And what, what are the packs? What, what do they give you? So you're gonna go to your inventory after you buy, um, if you, after you do this method. Now, I, I, I do wanna say, you wanna do this method in super high quantity. You wanna go in there and you wanna do this and maybe have about, <clears throat> let's say, give or take 100 packs. You wanna have about 100 gold exchange packs to do this with because then you're gonna make a bunch of profit. 15 packs, it's not gonna be as good and uh, demonstrable with 15 packs, but look, you go in here, Basically every single one of these guys I paid 600 subs for. So I paid 600 subs to get this pack and I just made 1200 subs. So really profit of 600 subs in one pack right there. So we're already up 600. Next pack, an 84. Now you're never gonna wanna quick sell or sell now, but for the, just for the simplicity of this video, I am gonna do that. Um, <clears throat> if you go to his market, if you go to, I know there's a way, someone will comment it down below, you guys always do, but it does tell you their price somewhere uh, on the card. So you can do that. For the simplicity of this video, I'm just gonna sell them. I know it's gonna make a lot of you guys crazy, but we're already up 2,000 stubs in one pack. And now look at, look, look at this. Right here, we break even. We quick sell for 600, we lost basically nothing. And so what I'm gonna say, there are gonna be the 82 overalls, uh, or sorry, the 80 overalls, where they're worth 400, where you, you will lose 200 stubs sometimes. But look at this, we're breaking even. We're breaking a lot more than even. Right now we have about a 4,000 stub profit cushion. So look, we just lost 200 stubs, but we're already up like 3,500. So it's it's a really good method to do in high quantity. It does take some time. Guys like Wander Franco, I know he's going for a lot. Never quick sell these guys. I'm just doing it for the video. But look at this, you're making good profit. Right here you break even on Sunny Gray. And as you go, you just keep doing it. Bo Bichette, bam! Bo Bichette's worth like over 2,000 stubs right now. That's like a 1,500 stub profit on one pull. 
you break even right here. And as you can see, you're gonna make a lot more stubs than you lose. Bam, like we're already probably up about 6,000 stubs just in 15 packs. Look at this, the 84s are coming in bulk. Remember, we're paying 600 stubs per each pack. So right here, break even, and then we pull the 84 overalls and we triple our stubs. Break even, it's, it's, it's nothing to do. It's so easy. If you get an 80 overall, who cares? You lose 200 stubs, and then you get an 83 and you double your stubs instantly. So it's a really, really good method right there. Um, and so those are the three best ways to make stubs in the game right now. You got the boss investments, right? Look at them, look at them right there. You got the boss investments, invest in those guys right here. And Mariano Rivera, I guess, because um, he was similar price and set too. But Greg Maddox is another guy. I think I'm personally invested in Greg Maddox too. I probably, have, let's, let's check. Let's go check Greg Maddox. Uh, it's gonna be hard to find him because I know his, his, his name is definitely not Greg Maddox for some unknown reason, the professor. Look at that, I got seven of him. And I, I might even buy more eventually because 18K is a pretty low price. I don't see him going lower than 17K ever. Um, so look at that. Buy these set two boss cards, they'll go up to 30K eventually. That's just, I, I would be shocked if they don't eventually go to 30K. That's the one way. Other way is roster update investments. Uh, you got a guy like Corey Seager on the Rangers, or even Bo Bichette. Bo Bichette, we bought him at uh, 600 stubs or 900 stubs. Now he's worth 2,099 stubs. So right there, you're making double your stubs, more than double your stubs. Uh, and since you have 160 of them, 160 times double your stubs, you make a lot of profit right there. Probably the best way, and if you're subscribed to me, I post videos on this all the time. And then the last way is what we just talked about, going to the exchanges, doing the exchange players, silver to gold. And it's actually, one thing I wanna say about this method, it's easier to do this on the Amway The Show app, because if I was to exchange Michael Taylor, it's a little bit faster to exchange the silvers on the app, and then come back on here once you're actually opening the packs, have the app open so you can find out the values. But like I was saying, this method is really good. It's re And even if you're just clearing your binder out, and before roster updates, some of these guys are higher in price. So it's a good, solid method. Look at that, lost 200 stubs. Who cares, we already made 10K on the first 15 packs. So if you get 100 of these gold exchange packs, you will make a bunch of stubs. And you just gotta keep doing that. You can spam orders overnight, come back in the morning, and get a lot of gold exchange packs. That's the video, boys. Three ways, three best ways to make stubs right now and get rich. Thanks for watching, smash the subscribe button, and let's get rich.